Okay, you guys, we are back. Today is such a beautiful fall day. The leaves are starting to change. When I get most excited about that is when I drive down our new lane because it's so long. But the perks of your husband doing the excavation work is actually how beautiful he made it on the way in. It's not just some straight long private lane. It like curves in and around all these trees. Stuff I didn't think I would care about or ever really notice before you have someone that you know really well who's doing the work. So anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this weather. We've got the crispy air now that I wanted, but it's still nice and beautiful outside. A great temperature. My favorite. So today, oh, I'm so excited. Today, I am going to show you my plans for our commercial build, so the new office, and yeah, I'm gonna show you my scrappy plans. I say that because we don't have the drawings done yet, but I always like to start with trying to do my own drawing. Ben and I will go through and see what we like, what we don't like. I bring all my inspo photos into a meeting when we do meet with someone who's actually gonna draw them up. So, we have a meeting in November with the architect who's going to do the work. Um, but again, they're expensive. <laughs> so hopefully by us doing like a general floor plan first and then bringing in all of the things that we've settled on between the two of us um, for design, then hopefully that means less work for him and less money. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. How did we even get here, I guess, is I'll back this up first. I love the office that we have now and I'm proud to have our own space and we've made it cute, but it's kind of like when you have your first house and you do everything DIY, not the best quality, just kind of lipstick on a space that you don't really feel is the right representation of what you actually want. So it was either I was going to sign a super long lease and completely renovate that place, which is kind of tricky when you don't own it, number one, because that money is going somewhere you're never gonna get it back but also like they own the building and the exterior of the building and the exterior of this particular building is not the prettiest not what we would want so anyways it was either dump a bunch of money into that and make it look however we wanted it to look or Ben and I had a chat because I was also considering just buying a little house or something on the Hammonds Plains Road and renovating just that space for the office but Ben tends to get a little bit more into projects when it's something that actually aligns with stuff we're already doing together. So we're, we've got big plans for multi-unit in the future. Um, we already have our land for it. We know that we have four massive projects that we're going to be doing in the future. But I didn't want to wait till after that to do anything with the office. So I, I was like, well, what do you think about if we could get land, but also put other units in it? Um, hesitant at first, now he's super excited. And we did find land, thanks to my dad. He had been chatting with somebody over the years, land that he was maybe gonna buy in the past just to kind of sit on, didn't know what he was gonna do with it. And he said, you know, you should follow up with this person and see if they're still interested in selling. Um, and I did, and he was. <laughs> so here we are. It's in Hammonds Plains for anybody who's local and knows where that is. It's about five minutes from our new house that we're gonna be living in in a few months, which sounds crazy to say. Um, but yeah, now let's talk a little bit about what I envision for the office. And again, the vision is gonna be a combination of obviously what I want and what Ben wants. So he loves like sleek, modern, industrial, and then I'm on the total other end of the spectrum where I see in my mind these like beautiful like boutique or cafe style outdoor um, markets or whatever. Like when you go down south and there's outdoor shopping and they've got like those rows of outdoor shopping and little cafes and little um, boutique stores, I love that. So somehow we're gonna marry those together but I actually want to show you um, some of the inspiration photos. Start things off, let's look at this Pinterest board for the exterior inspo. Haven't narrowed this down at all. I just saved things that I really loved. So this is what I mean by like that vibe of um, a little shop or a cafe or something that's like 
I don't know, I just love that exterior look and it reminds me of being down south and going shopping or stopping into a little market or grabbing a coffee and I just really want that quaint cozy feeling in our office. I want when somebody shows up as a client to see us that they feel like this welcoming hug. I don't know. That sounds really corny, but I really mean it. Look how beautiful these spaces are. So that's what we're trying to accomplish, or that's what I'm trying to accomplish anyways. We'll see what happens when we marry our styles together. This is my little floor plan that I've been working on. Um, I'm going to focus mostly on the space for the office. So no idea where the windows and doors are actually going to go, but let me give you a rough run through of what I have in my head so far. This is heavily influenced by two different spaces in the Jillian Harris office that she designed. So sorry for copying, but they were too good not to. And I will put those pictures up on the screen as they come. So anyways, um, front door, I'm gonna do something with our logo here, the Chelsea L Team logo. Um, hop right into one of those spaces that I love so much that Jillian did because it does remind me of a cafe. She's done this little bar right here that you can actually look out the window and work at. Cannot wait to do one of those. Absolutely happening. This um, front room here is actually going to be a meeting room but because we have like an open space where all the girls are going to be working in the same spot and we don't have an official board room this time i wanted to have a space where either they can tuck away for important phone calls or zoom meetings but also when we have clients go in like kind of go in and shut the door um, or also film video content at a desk here so that's what that room's for this is closet over here is the bathroom and then you can continue walking in here. Now, I wanted this space here to be very um, universal. So this will be like where we have our meetings and there'll be a TV up on this cabinet wall here. But also on this other side will be the kitchen. And at times where we wanna do like home buyer sessions or have everybody in, um, we'll actually tuck this table back in this area here and we'll be able to set up a bunch of rows of chairs there. This back room here will be my office for myself and my assistant, maybe future two assistants, who knows. I wanted to leave some room for growth and flexibility. And then over in this section is the other area where I had to steal this idea because they are stunning. Um, Jillian Harris did these beautiful uh, built-in desk areas and I wanted to make a special space for the girls where it's laid out differently and everyone's kind of close together. I wanted to at least have an area where they felt that they could set it up super cute and, and feel at home when they're working. So those stations are going to go back there. Um, this to the right is the other commercial space and this is storage and stairwells to the upper level for the, um, the units. So now that we've looked at the office side of things, which I get carried away with because clearly that's where I am going to run my business in the future and I'm very excited about that. Um, but now let's talk about the two units above because we don't really know what we're going to do with the commercial next to us. Um, I think I'm more inclined to hopefully like create an overall space and then just finish it off with whoever we find as a tenant and attract like what kind of businesses we would like there versus Ben's like, no, let's not do anything and then find the tenant first and customize it to them. <laughs> the reason why I don't want to do that is because I feel like I've been jaded in the past. Um, I know how it is to help somebody customize exactly what they want. It's always more expensive than you think and you feel like you're working for somebody and that's why Ben and I will never build houses for a living. Never, never, never. <laughs> But so that's a little bit of a sore spot, but we'll figure that part out. I'm still excited for that part, but we are definitely um, excited to also design the two spaces above that are going to be residential. So they will be two bedroom units. We don't have the layout nailed down just yet, but I try to think of this like marketing. So when I'm marketing for real estate or for my business, I always try to think like, who's the target audience? Who am I trying to attract? 
And obviously it's a little bit strange to be above commercial, but that's why I wanna make sure these spaces are extra cool for that particular person that cares about like a stylish place to live. Um, and I also don't wanna attract anyone who's gonna be partying, which naturally you won't. I don't think with just a two bedroom above a commercial space, but I want to make it special. I want it to be that person who actually cares about setting up a cute space and appreciating the unit. Um, I'll also have like a bit of a strange relationship this time with like being so close to them every day because we have multi units now. We have a four unit um, and we have a unit in the house that we're living in, but that's a friend that lives with us, so that part's easy. And then the other units, we're not really there all the time. We have a property manager. But these guys, like, I will be there every day working, so um, I definitely want the right tenants there. So here's what we're thinking for those spaces. Okay, so for the upstairs units, I want to create in one of them, I think, um, think more like the quarter deck. So I know that those color schemes don't really match in here, but like maybe some of this wood feature and then bring that in with like grays and blacks and very sleek lines, um, just simple. I think Ben will really like that one. And then on the other side, I definitely wanna do something like beachy, but tasteful. So this soft wood look, I love. This is probably my favorite color green. So I really want to bring that in somehow with the kitchen and I just want to make them super stylish. As far as the layout, I wonder if I still have this here. I do. So maybe possibly something like this where there's two bedrooms, one bigger than the other, one bath but make it cute. I don't like this kitchen layout so make sure you open that up. But I think I would like to replicate something like this for the upstairs units. If you're still here by now at the end of this, thank you for sticking it out. I'm so excited to take you guys along the ride of this uh, commercial build because it might be the only one that we do that actually involves like business spaces. So yeah, I'm really excited and I hope you guys are enjoying this Thanksgiving weekend. That's when I'm recording this. So I hope you guys are getting out with your family and having lots of fun and eating really good. <laughs>